All right, welcome back to this week's Cantonese studying. We're going to finish up the story we had started uh, two weeks ago, and we continued on with last week. It's the story, A uh, Busy Day, with a couple uh, getting ready for their day and going out to work. So let's go ahead and get started. We did chapters three and four last week, which were about taking the lift and having breakfast. So now we're going to finish up with chapters five and six, which are about taking the MTR and arriving at, at their company, arriving at work, respectively. So chapter five. As always, this story has vocab at the end of the chapter, so here's the beginning, taking the MTR. We're going to skip past that for now and go straight to the vocabulary. Here we go. This story doesn't have any audio, so we will just read along together, but first we'll look at the vocab list. Okay, so first is zik zip. Now zip is, this is a word I think that means to pick up. It can mean to pick up something or someone. Zip. To receive. To take one's turn, take over. Okay, so it's more like to meet, welcome. I think I think number three is the usage that I'm most familiar with, which is to meet or welcome someone. So you can use this. Uh, you could say something like, "I will go to the airport to pick you up." So I'll go to the airport to pick you up. But it can mean all these other things as well. Let's see. There we go. So that's tick deep, where tick is means like direct or straight. So I guess together it means direct as well. Tick deep. Next we have Fong Hung. Fong Hung, which is direction. Um, so let's think about that. What? Why might that be direction? So Fong. Fong is square. It's okay. It means direction by itself. Method. Here it says direction, okay. So I know hung by itself is also like from, I think. Let's see. Towards, direction. Okay, so it seems like they both can be used for direction on their own and then together as well. Always along, okay. So that's fong hung. Next we have zheng uh, zhe. Dung tick, increase in value. Where I think dung is increase. Dung. Was it three? Yeah. So to increase, I've seen this one before. Actually, let's zoom in a little bit further. Maybe that's better. I've seen this one used in like jungka. Uh, now the, hold on a second. There's like a certain balance with having it l large enough for you guys to read and small enough that the drop down here is actually usable. So I've seen this in Dunga, which is like to increase the price. Uh, I th or maybe it's just to raise, increase. I think you can use this to mean like increase the price. Dunga. Uh, but this is using zik. 
which is a little bit different. I also see this character, it's the same as the one above, except it has a yun on the left-hand side. So the first one zik, looks like this. The second one is the same, but it has a yun on the left-hand side, a person on the left-hand side. So not sure the difference there. Let's see if I can find it. I might not be able to find it. It was uh, Zhang Zik. Zhang Zik. I can't tell. I don't. I don't think that's the same character, but maybe it's the font. But in any case, that's that means to increase value. Zheng Zik. We'll keep moving. Next, we have Yi Ting. Yi Ting agenda. Yi Ting. Okay. Then we have. Li te, li te, train. So this seems like it's probably just a synonym for fa te, which is also train. Li te, siu sam, which is to be careful or to show some care. Siu sam. Te sang, te sang, carriage. Okay, so we know te is car. Te sang. Let's see what this character is on its own. Box, side room. Okay, makes sense. So it's a car box, car car uh, room, carriage. Tessang. Oh, and this is, I, I guess this is like a train carriage, right? Because it's just talking about train up here. Yeah, makes sense. I wonder if you can use that for buses as well, like the part that st that the people sit in. Is, is that the bus carriage? Next we have hung quick, hung quick, which is gap, where hung is, I don't know if that's air on its own. Hung. Empty air sky. You can say, I think it's atmosphere as hung hei, hung hei, something like that. I don't think it's that hei, though, is it? I guess, I guess so. Hung hei. Yeah, the font's kind of throwing me off. I, I've seen this written a little bit differently. But yeah, hung hei, atmosphere. And then finally, we have dick uh, dung, dick dung soon. We've, we've seen these characters a number of times on their own or together with other characters. Uh, like, Zik is in the same one as Zik Hai, which is like, that is to say, basically, which is to say, Zik Hai. So that's the same character. Yeah. And then, Zheng, uh, this is the same as in... Uh, is it Zheng? No, Zheng Loi is a different character. Oh, maybe it's the same. Zheng Loi. Future. In the future. And also, Zheng uh, Bun, I think, is the same as well, or similar. Looks. Oh, no, it's not the same. See the, the die character on the bottom. So you can see this has die on the bottom, the horizontal stroke, and then the, the yun character. This one's different. It looks like it's the same except, yeah, it's, it's the up, upper half here seems like it's similar to this, but there's an extra piece of it, so. Okay, so if we look back at the one we're learning, 
it's the version that doesn't have the the character for large at the bottom. Tick turn. Tick turn. Soon. That's cool. I, I've never learned that one. So that means soon. Okay. Now we'll go back up to the story. Chapter 5. So chapter five, taking the MTR. So the title is Dap De Teet, Dap De Teet. So literally take and the underground or subway. MTR is a name of the subway in Hong Kong. Remember, this is a husband and wife, so the husband's name is Ray, the wife's name is Cat. They're kind of proceeding onto their way to work. This chapter is them traveling. Ray says, Lei yi ga fan gong si ding hai hak doa. Ding hai hak doa. So, Lei yi ga, right now, do you fan gong si? Uh, return to work, ding, or hai go hak do a hak do a hak is customer like gu hak. So it's a question, an either or question where the options are fan gong si or hai hak do. Uh, the full way to say the or in this case is ding hai. Ding hai. There's another way to say or, which is wak zhe, wak zhe, but that version is used for statements. So if I'm saying like I will go here or here, I might use wak zhe, but if I'm explicitly, if I'm asking a question, I'll use ding hai or ding. Le yi ga fan gong si ding hai hak do a, ding hai hak do a. So are you going to go back to work or go see a customer, a client? Cat says, Today, direct or directly, go back to work. So this morning, you, I need to, hoi wui, to attend a meeting. Okay. Ray responds, Oh, gum ngode doi da jung wan fong, uh, jung wan fong hung la. So he says, Oh, well, gum ngode. We do do hai da zhong wan fang hang la fang hang la. So we both uh we both are taking the zhong wan fang hang la, zhong uh the zhong wan direction. MTR. So a bit about do or do hai. Uh, do can be used to mean both. It can be used to mean all. I think it also can mean be used to mean also. So in this case, it's both because it's two people. If it was three, it might mean more like all. We both need to take the central direction. Ah, haya, that tong yu zheng zhe a zheng zhe a. So he says, "Hi, yeah. By the way, lei deng deng. 
you wait. Okay. So dang dang is to wait, and sometimes I've seen dang dang mean etc. etc. But here, I guess it just means like wait, wait a moment. I guess this is octopus card. Oh, okay. So, so the octopus card is a it's a transit card like you might have in any large city. What was it called? Yeah, so it's actually it works pretty well. It's it's great. It, you can use it at Seven Eleven to buy convenience store food. You can use it to travel on all sorts of things. It's really flexible, which is awesome. So I'm trying to parse this a little bit. Octopus card. So bot is eight. I, okay. So what is what is that? I think tong in this case is communication or communicate. That is to reach, communicate, knowledgeable. Uh, it's also not, I'm not sure if it, it could also be one of those cases where the full phrase or the full word is just what it is. To know well, communicate, open. Yeah, so I don't I don't really get a good sense of what that is just from that. To arrive, so that's kind of interesting. Express. Anyway, so that is a proper noun here, so it's it means this octopus card, this sort of like transit card. And then you is to need you zeng zik need to add value, like go to a val an add value machine to add more money on the card. So let's say that sentence one more time. Haya they dang dang ngo zheng ba da tong yu zheng zik a. The zheng here is the classifier for the card. So zheng is a, a classifier. We've talked about that before, where you put a classifier in front of nouns. And this particular one, is for flat objects, sheets, etc. So I guess it, it's used for cards as well. All right, so he says, wait a minute, I need to add value. And then cat responds, Yi, you pai dai wo. Lei zheng ba da tong hai mai yi ging yong sai la. So she says, oh, uh, you need to line up. Pai dai, pai dai wa. Um, like a, there's probably a queue at the machine. They're kind of like, sort of like ATM machines, and they're all over the place. So, you know, figures there's probably a, a short line of people. Yi, you pai dai wa. Lei zheng ba da tong hai mai yi ging yong sai la. So your octopus card... Hai mai, is it or is it not? B not B. So is it yi ging already? Yong sai la. So yong is use and sai, you you can put that on the end of a verb to mean completely or entirely or fully. So yong sai is like used it all up. Uh, Sik sai is to like eat it all. You you could use it for a number of different verbs. So she's asking, did you, there's a line, you have to wait. Uh, does your card, is your card already all used up? Uh, and then she continues. Are you able to later, and then seen is like first or only thereafter. TD seen zheng zhe a. So are you able to add value later? Hom ho yi TD seen zheng zhe a.
Ray responds. 都仲可以答埋啲情嘅，啲情嘅。我出閘或者放工嗰陣先增值到都得。Right, so we'll break that apart a little bit because it's kind of a long sentence. Do jong, do jong. I guess those go together with this dash here. So do jong, jong is like furthermore or still. So do jong hai yi, still able to, da mai li ting ge, da mai to take this li. Ting journey, which I don't. I think ting was in our vocab, but ting ge. Let's let's go back to the vocab quickly here. We said, oh, yi, yi ting, yi ting. So that's different. But the character is it the same character? So this is the ting. It's got the hao and it's got the is that the wang on the bottom? All right, let's see if that's the same. It looks the same, yeah. So down there, uh, uh, yi ting was agenda. Here it's journey. So dou zheng hao yi da mai li ting ge. This journey, I still am able to to take this journey. Wo chu zha wa zhe fang gong guo zhen xin zheng zhe dou da. So chu zha. So exiting, and then stop. The turnstile. I haven't seen stop on its own before, but I think this is the same stop that I learned in Teach Yourself, which was stop how I think, like a gate. Boarding gate. So I learned it in the context of an airport,、uh, like a gate in a terminal. Zap hao. Boarding gate. I guess it means toll station. Gateway access point as well. And so here it looks like you can use it on its own.、It、kind of makes sense, right? A turnstile is sort of a a checkpoint. So ngo chu zha, so exiting the turnstile, wak zhe. Here's the other version of the or I mentioned a minute ago. So here he's giving two options for himself. He's not asking a question. He's just saying this or that. Ngo chu zha wak zhe fang gong. When I exit the turnstile at the other end, or、uh, when I leave, when I finish work, guo zhen at that time, guo zhen xin. Zheng zhe dou da, dou da is also okay. So, I can fill it up when I exit the turnstile or when I finish work, and at that at that time,、uh, both are okay or they're also okay. One one point of context here that maybe will help with this.、Uh, in Chicago. When we pay for the train for the subway, we pay before we get on, and it's a fixed fee. So you get on the subway; it's a fixed two, three dollars, whatever it is, regardless of distance. So you could get off the very next stop. You could get off four miles away; it's the same price.、Uh, the way it works in Hong Kong, at least the last time I was there, is you badge to get on. So you go through a turnstile to get on. Uh, I think at that time it doesn't do anything except it records where you're getting on at, and then when you get off, wherever you get off, it calculates the distance and charges you accordingly. 
So that's that's why he's saying when he gets off, he could add value because there are liable to be these add value machines like right where you're exiting. I guess I've never had the issue where I didn't have enough money, but it's, I suppose if you didn't have money, maybe you couldn't go through the turnstile. It wouldn't let you exit. So, so he's saying basically before, as I exit, I could fill it up or or uh, after I finish work. Saokung is another synonym for finishing work. Fonggung, I'm, I'm seeing Fonggung more and more these days, but Saokung is also to stop working. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Some of the grammar is kind of like, I, the, the good news is I feel like I'm sort of just naturally absorbing it a little bit. I would have trouble kind of explaining why this is structured the way it is, but just reading it, it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, the gods unseen, maybe the ordering seems a little odd, but just reading it, it makes sense. So after Ray suggests that, uh, Cat responds and says, Yao tell I wa. So the train is coming. There is a train coming. Yao tell I wa. Hang fai di la. So walk faster. Hang fai di la. Hang fai di la. Okay. And then a few minutes later or sometime later. Ai ya. Amam san zo mun. So oh. Uh, just now the door uh, the door closed. So san, close. Zo makes it past tense. Closed. San zo mun, the door. San zo mun. Um, I guess thinking about that now, this is opposite what you would say in English, right? You'd say the door... The door closed. Here it's saying closed door. And I guess that's the same in a lot of verbs. But if it is confusing to you, just don't worry. <laughs> more more practice, it'll make sense. Ray responds and says, Um gan yu la. Yao um hai ho gon. Uh, ho gon. Sorry, let's start over. Mganyula, so no, doesn't matter. Yao mhai ho gon si gon si gan gon si gan. Gon is to rush. Gon ji gon ji is rushing. I don't know the character very well. Is this the character? No, it's not. Gon Ji. Um, is this the first character? I don't think that's it either. Uh, no, it is. Okay. I think like something like this. Yeah, in a hurry to. Gon Ji. Gon Ji. So Gon is to hurry. And then Si Gan is, uh, is time. So hurrying time gon gon si gan. Gan yu la yao mai ho gon si gan. Doesn't matter. Not uh, not in a hurry. Okay, so that's page fifty-two. Let's double check that we're on the right page. Fifty-three is next. Cat says, Lim gon si gan za. Ngo ge gon si gan ga. So, you're not in a hurry. Uh, I'm very much in a hurry. Ge is, ge is used for the question word, like how much, but also for like, uh, you know, some some decent amount. Very much so. Ge gon si gan ga. Gam ya hoi wui di ye. Ngo to me tai. Oh, okay. So, she's... We we learned she's got this meeting to go to, but she's saying come yet hoi wui die ngo to me tai. Um today um the meeting's stuff die 
I still haven't read. Uh, read. So May is as yet. Sick bao mei ya. So are you, are you full? May. Sick bao mei ya. So May is is yet. Or, or not yet, I should say. Um, so she's just saying there's a meeting and I haven't, still haven't read the material for the meeting, so I'm not prepared. Ray responds, they gay dim hoi ya. So gay dim. Here's where we're using gay as, as a question, like a filler word for the question. What hour? Late gay dim hoi ya. What time is your meeting? Subdimbun. So ten hour bun is half. So ten thirty. Subdimbun. Gum le zhang yao kabun zhong a kabun zhong a. So in this way, you still have zhong yao. Still have zhong yao kabun zhong a. One half of an hour kabun zhong a. Cat says, "Dan hai fun, ah, dan hai fun yi ting yao sam yi zi, sam yi zi." However, or but, fun yi ting. Here they're using fun to mean the, sort of like a, an article. I that I've never seen that, but makes sense. Dan hai fun yi ting yao sam yi sam yi zi. So the agenda has three pages. Yip, sam yip zi. Three pages of paper, so it's three pages long. Ling oi zheng yu tai leng fun bo, leng fun bo go. Besides, I still have to read um, the two-page report. Leng fun bo go. This is the same bow as like tai bow zi to read the newspaper. Bow bow zi. Um, yeah, so it's the same character. Not a character I'm very familiar with reading, but it's the same character. Tai bow go. Go is... Uh, Let's see, Guang Go is a advertisement. Guang Go. Guang Go. There we go. Guang Go. So it's kind of like advertisement. The Go part is, I guess, announcement or something like that. Ray says, Gum Ngo Zan Hai Bong Do Le Ya. I'm not able to help you. Sun Hai is really Gum Ngo Zan Hai Bong Do Le Ya. Not able to help you. Lei Bong Do Zao Ho La. Next says Bro. I don't know who Bro is. Should we go to the top of the page to find out? Oh, broadcasting. Okay, the MTR broadcast. I was like, who's this bro broadcast? So broadcast says... Um, let's get this zoomed in. Okay, broadcast says... Li te zik zheng mai zam. So soon, we learned that new word as well as this new word. The train, soon, is coming to the station. Please be careful. Like to ask. Uh, I skipped down, sorry. Let's get to the right place. So uh, it said, Teng Siu Sam Yu Toi 
，月台与车厢间之，车厢间之空隙。Wow, that's that's hard. See that there are how many? One, two, three, four, five, six words in a row with the exact same tone. Uh, I think that's our new record for words I've seen that have the same tone. I have problems with these types of things where it's like sometimes if the sentence goes up and then down in tone, I have I have trouble sticking the the landing, so to speak, in terms of matching the tone. This one's also hard because it's just like repetitive. I kind of wish we had the audio for this story for that reason, something like this. But anyway, it says "yu toy," which is the platform "yu toy," "yu," and "ta sung," "ta sung," "ta sung," "gan zi hong quick." So I guess "gan zi" is between, and then "hong quick" is the gap. So it really is just saying "mind the gap," basically. I think that's the English translation in.、Uh, The actual MTR recording says, "Please mind the gap." So that's basically what it's saying here: is "yu toy yu ta sung gan zi hong quick." So after the broadcast, Cat responds and says, "Ai ta lai la sung ta la." So the train's coming. Get on the train, sung ta. We talked about directions previously, where sung is above, and also. Previous, like Sangolai Bai is last week, Lekolai Bai is this week, or Gumgolai Bai is also this week, and then Hagolai Bai is next. So Sang means above, above positionally. It means before in time, and then Ha means down positionally, and it means sort of next in terms of time, where Hagolai Bai is next week. In this case, it's a different tone. It's kind of like raise, sung, sung. I think it sort of means like raise, kind of get on. On top, above, to climb. That's a good way to think about it. I think you can say sung san to climb a mountain. I. Kind of doubt that this will be in the dictionary. Oh, it is in the dictionary. To go uphill. I guess it means pass away. Sort of like as an idiom as well. Climbing the mountain. Sung san. So this is sung te. Get on the train. Sung te la. Oof. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So we've got a couple of those vocab words that were outlined in the table, and then I would argue something like "ganzi," that's also new, fairly new to me. I think I've seen it once or twice before, but not a lot, so I'm not that familiar with that. We know "zi" is used in things like "zi hao" after or "zi tin," "zi tin" before. It's used in, isn't it used in "zi noi," which is like. Ti noi, isn't this、uh, contents? Inside, within, yeah. Inside, within. Oh, yeah. So that's within, and then the one other one I was thinking of is noi, noi, yong. This is contents, substance, noi yong. But ti noi is within. We're kind of doing a mini review of like positional space words here. So zi noi is within, but gan zi is between. Between. Gan zi. It's not even in here. I wonder if it's in the other dictionary. No, it's not. So yeah, I guess that means between. But I wonder what these dictionaries have for English to Cantonese.
place in between, press from either side, not really the same. Yeah, have to have to maybe see if we if we notice in the next couple streams any other words that crop up for between. But anyway, that, that was chapter five. Pretty good. So talking about being late for things. Cat has this meeting that hasn't started or she hasn't read for. It's starting in half an hour. Ray's low on cash in his card, but he's able to add value later. And then the train arrives. So on to chapter six. Chapter six vocab. Here we go. Only a few. First, Loban is boss. We've also seen bossy, which is like an English loan word to mean boss. So Loban. I think Loban is also like a colloquial word for like a gangster or something. Like a gang gang leader. Employer boss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this also means like. It's interesting. This doesn't even show up first when you search for the second character here. It's all these other variants. It's strange. I've never seen this character before either. Oh, it looks like this one is. I guess the one they have in the story is the simplified version. It's a lot of inconsistency in these stories, and I'm trying to just deal with it. The big one is Sai, which I think we had talked about a while ago, but Jung Sai. Um, this, I think, is actually the simplified character, but it's the one I see all the time. Yeah. So these dictionaries, they always put the traditional and then they'll put simplified version of the character in brackets and then if it's the same I think it's usually like a dash or sometimes it's just missing but you see psi psi which is everything right um, I don't see the definition everything here but this is everything I'm seeing this in the stories all the time which is kind of strange because I guess this is the traditional one but it seems like maybe through time the distinction between traditional and simplified is blurred a little bit, like certain simplified characters become the common usage, even if you're writing in traditional. I don't know. Anyway, it's not terribly important for now. So we have Loban which is boss. Then we have Beishu, which is secretary. Sunbin, Sunbin, conveniently. And then Ma Fan Lei, to trouble you. Ma Fan is, is trouble or problem, tr uh, troublesome, problematic. Ho Ma Fan, so like big problem, very problematic. So Ma Fan Lei is troubling you. You, you probably would You'd say this maybe before you ask for a favor, like, ah, it's It's not good to trouble you. Okay. Not too many new words there, so we'll see if we notice any other words in the dialogue that could have been in the list. Arrive at the Company, Chapter 6. So it means fan do gong si. Fan is to return or arrive. Do is the ending, the verb ending that means successfully or completed. Fan do gong si. Gong si is company or business. Gong si. All right. Interesting. So this has a new character, Mei. I don't know who that is. It's got Mei, Ray. And that's it. 
So May must be a coworker of Ray's. We'll go up to the list here. Yeah, colleague. Oops, so you can see this here. May is a colleague of Ray's, I guess. All right, so I guess that's the last we've seen of Cat. Goodbye, Cat. She's not in the final chapter. <laughs> She's just in chapter five. Uh, now we're at, I guess we're at Ray's, uh, Ray's business. I don't think we established that they work for the same company. I think they work for different companies because that chapter five was talking about how, oh, we could happen to take the train because we're going to the same place. So May is the coworker. Zoom in here again. Okay. Fan to Gongsi. May says, Zing wa tan tai, da ding wa lai, da ding wa lai. Wa ti so di, turn jun, turn jun, sern goi m yung fun. Mm, yung fun hong sick. Oh, a lot of words here. I'm not not great at. So, ding wa. Wa is to speak or say. I thought ding on its own was like accurate or correct. Ding ding wa. Bef together they're saying it means just before. Jingwa. Moment before, just now. Okay. Jingwa. Jingwa Tan Tai. Mrs. Chan. Tan Tai. Where Tai is short for Tai Tai. Tan Tai Da Lin Wa Lei. She uh, basically dialed the phone or called us. Wa Ti Sa Di Cheng Jin. Cheng Jin. Jean. So wall tile. The bathrooms uh, wall tiles. Sern Sern Goi Goi Myung. She wants to wishes to change and not use the pink ones. Fun fun hong sick. Chi sa di chung jun chung jun sern goi myung fun hong sick. Okay. Chung jun. So chung and jun are that's completely new to me. I, I guess that's wall churn. Churn. Jun. So churn is wall. Is this the word for turn? No, this is brick. Okay, tile brick kind of makes sense. So how does that differ from jun, uh, jun, jun tao, jun tao, which is to like turn your head. Uh, it looks like the right side is the same, but the left side is is a te instead of a what is that sec. So this means to turn, jun, spin, rotate, turn, jun, jun, jun tao, turn your head, jun tao. I hope, by the way, these little asides with the dictionary are helpful for people watching. It's I'm doing it for a couple of reasons. One, to reinforce my own understanding of the characters. I keep asking the question like, oh, is this character the same one I learned in a different word? Which I think is probably a good line of questioning as, as you're learning characters. And I think it's also just interesting, right? kind of decompose the characters, understand what the underlying meaning might be. Is this a word where the two characters make sense together, or is it a, a word where they just happen to be characters, but but you're not supposed to like really break it apart? I think it's good for remembering if you can kind of put them in context or associate with some other usage of the character elsewhere. So to let's say that one more time. Jing wa chen tai da ding wa lei. Wa qi so di chang jun sheng guai myung fan hong sik. 
so she doesn't want to use the pink wall tiles. So ask you to fukfan to call her back basically. Fukfan Makes sense. Yeah, I mean Daisamti Golo Daisamti Wow. Three three particles in a row there. Go lo wa. Uh Daisamti go lo wa. So change the third time. Daisamti. Uh, remember where dai is they call it the ordinal number, so if you put the number after it, it changes it to first, second. It's the end part of that. Uh, yat is one. Dayat is first. Yi is two. Dayi is second. Sam is three. Daisam is third. And then T means like time or occurrence. So doi T is again or... In this case, daisamti is the third time. Ha, goi daisamti golo wo. Hi, hola. Ngo yat zan gan be ding wa koi la. So he's like exasperated here. Says, uh, in one moment, yat zan gan be ding wa koi la. We'll, uh, we'll call her up. Lo ban go bei shi jing wa tung ji tung ji. So the the boss, the boss's secretary, Lo ban go bei shi jing wa just said tung ji gum something. Gum gum yat an zao go wui. This afternoon's meeting. Yao sam. Yao sam dim bun, goi lung dim bun la, or lung dim bun la. This afternoon's meeting from 3.30, yao is is from. So you can, you can use yao for position as well. So there's a phrase, there's like a sentence structure for that. I forget, but you could certainly say yao li do. Um, maybe you could say maybe uh, so from here to there we'll use how I don't know if that's a correct sentence, but hopefully you get what I'm, where I'm coming from. You can use yao for position and say like from here to there. Uh, we'll take how long is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, so this is saying yao sam dim bun. Sam dim bun is three thirty. Goi change learn dim bun to two thirty. So she's just informing him the appointment has changed for this afternoon meeting. Ray says, Dim Gaya. Why? Dim Gaya. Oh. Loban Hoi Yun Wui Zi Hao Yu Gon Ji Sung Dai Lok. So we, we've discussed how Hoi Wui is meeting, and we've talked a bunch in the past about. The different words that change the tense of of the meat of the word. So daw is past tense, gun is present, like ongoing. Same thing with ju in a little bit different circumstance. And we've talked about yun is finish. So this is in interjecting yun in between hoi wui, which means to finish hoi yun wui, finish the meeting. Ji hao is afterwards. So after the boss uh, finishes the meeting, Lo Ban Hoi Yun Wui Ji Hao, Yu needs to Guan Shi rush, 
与赶住上大陆 ，to go to the mainland, meaning the mainland of China versus Hong Kong. So he needs to go to to mainland China. Zheng Yao. Moreover, or furthermore, Zheng Yao. Lao Ban Hua. Jiu Li Da Han. Guozhen Hui. Wen. Ah, Guozhen Hui. Wen Kai Wu. So furthermore, the boss says to ask that when you're free, Lai Da Han. Da Han is free, like you're available. 老板话叫你得闲嗰阵 ，at that time， 嗰阵去揾佢，佢话，啊 ，basically go see him， go find him， go see him。Ray， 知唔知乜嘢事啊 ？So do you know？ 知唔知 ？No， not know。乜嘢 ？What？ C is like problem or issue or topic, something like that. GMC, what yes, C ah? Do you know what for? No, not what matter. So I would I would translate as like, do you know what for? GMC, what yes, C ah? Um, C ah. He no gong hai messy. So I don't know. He didn't say. Ah,、uh, didn't say what. What the matter? What the issue is? Um, Jia, he no gong hai messy. Ray says, "Oh, duck, no matter. Matter is problem or issue. Another way to say problem, perhaps a different kind of problem. No matter is no problem. Oh, duck, no matter. I one time went to him." Uh, in a, a moment later,、uh, I'll go see him. Ngo yat san wan kai ya. Yi ga lou ban bun. So now the boss moves, moves or moved. Sixty-two. Go to the next page. Ah bun zuo. Bun zuo sheng lao sheng, sheng lao sheng. 搬咗上楼上 ，moves upstairs. I wonder if that's that's also like an idiom to mean going to the mainland, or I'm guessing that's what it is. 搬咗上楼上，搵佢真系唔方便啊。So going to see him is definitely or really not convenient. 方便 is convenient. So, like, ever since he moved to the mainland, going to see him is really not convenient. I 一阵想去老板度，有冇啲乜嘢要顺顺便顺便拎顺便拎上去啊 ？So, I 一阵 moment later 想去 go to the boss's place 老板度。有冇啲乜嘢要順便拎上去啊 ？Is there anything? 有有冇啲乜嘢 ？Is there anything you that needs or requires you 順便？啊，順便拎上去啊？啊 ，anything to take up to him? I guess anything to take up there? Lick is to take. That's new word to me. Never seen that one before. Sunbeam, conveniently. That's also new to me. Actually, let's let's.、Uh, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing that one correctly. So let's double check that. This is not French. Cantonese. Sunbeam. Sunbin. Sunbin. Okay. Sunbin. All right. So sunbin is conveniently, I guess. Sunbin lek Shanghai. So it's not convenient to go up there to see him. Is there anything I should take while I'm going? Basically. May says, Ah, yao ah, li fan zhen dao, li fan zhen dao biu. 
this jundo jundo is schedule i guess jundo is that the same jun as in progress jundo 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 i think it is yeah it looks like it jundo versus jundo Work schedule. Jundo. Ah, yawa. Li fun jundo biu. Jundo biu. I guess to all three together. Jundo biu is schedule. Jundo biu. Timeline work schedule. Okay. Jundo biu. Ma fan lay sung hai gotan sun bean sun bean lick sung hai ya. So she says, um, it's trouble. I guess she's just kind of commiserating, saying it's troublesome for you to go up at the time. Um, basically, take it up there. Ray says, Mo mantai, no problem. May says, Lei gum ya an zao yao mo yurk zao, yurk zao yan sik fana. So today's lunch, today at lunch, yao mo uh, yurk zao, have you, have you arranged for, to eat with anyone, I guess? Have you arranged any appointment to eat? Like maybe with a client or a coworker? Lei gum ya an zao yao mo yurk zao yan sik fana. Lum. Lum sang gum yat ting sick fan wa. This says Mr. Lamb today is treating to eat a meal. Ting sick fan wa. I don't know who Mr. Lamb is. If it's a co worker at their office. Ray. So today, is special. So what's the special? What's the special day? Why is he treating the meal? Treating everyone to the meal? May Tum yet, Tum yet, Sinke Sam, Pau ye ma. Yesterday's Wednesday um, evening races. Kayang zo ma. His horse won. Yang is to win. Yang zo is to have won. Kayang zo ma. Ho ti yang zo man ge man ge man. Ten thousand something dollars, more than ten thousand dollars. So that would be like one to two thousand US, probably. Yang zhao ma, ho ti yang zhao man man gei man. So yi cheng, so yi cheng wo dei shi fan. Therefore, he's treating us to a meal. Ray, wow, like gum ting ta ge. You're so clear. I guess maybe that means like you know it so well. Like I'm ting toge. Like kind of like implying maybe how do you know all this? May haya wa tong wa gong ge. Um, so I guess this may and this wa person have said it. I don't know if that, I don't know what that means. If that means Mr. Lamb said it to both of them. Haya wa tang wa gong ge. Kai tam man tang lam sang. Lam sang yatai yap ma chang. 
Oh, okay. So this Awa is he went with he or she went with the uh, Mr. Lamb last night. Haya wa tangwakonga kaitaman tang lam sing uh lam sang yatai yap ma tang awa gindo lam sang yang gum da teen So he went together yatai is together yatai Yep is to enter Ma Tang Tang is um Tang is like a stadium or sort of a big gathering place kind of like a, like basically like a stadium I think you might use it for well you use it in gay turn which is airport so it's not just stadiums but it's kind of like big space so this is a horse area horse arena ma turn kaitaman tong lam sang yatai yap ma turn awa gindo so gain do is gain is look and do is that again that successfully or completed gain do lam sang yang gum da teen so he saw mr lamb win so much money gum da teen zao gyu zao gyu kai cheng wo de sik fan la so then he asked uh him him referring to Mr. Lamb, and he referring to what was it Mr. Wa? Awa. So awa gyu kai awa gyu lam sang kai cheng ngo de sik fan la. So he asked him if he would treat us to the meal. Ray, do tin go go mei bit mei bit yang. So gambling, do tin is gamble. Do tin go go may beat yang. Not a must win. So I think I don't know if he's saying like not necessarily you win. May beat. Yeah, not necessarily. Maybe not. Go go may beat yang. Not necessarily win. Dan hai, however, or but. However. <laughs> I read ahead here because I, I was at first I thought he was saying like you're not necessarily going to win if you gamble but if you don't gamble you'll never win which is what I thought he was saying but but the actual text says if you don't gamble then you'll certainly win and i'm trying to think like why is that goko zao yatting yatting is is certainly or yatting you is must you it, we know that you is like you have to do something yatting you is like you must do something so yatting on its own is like certainly so he says mdo not gambling then uh, you'll certainly win the reason why he's saying you'll certainly win isn't is discovered in the second half of the sentence because he says yang tan an ama so you win a meal <laughs> so they win because they didn't gamble but mr lamb won and he's going to treat the whole office or the group or whatever to lunch so you yang tan an you win a meal. Yang Tan an ama. It's funny. Uh, May in response says, Lei yao zan hai guang da am guang da am wo. You're you're definitely or really speaking the truth, basically, you're speaking correctly. It's like, yep, you're right. You're speaking the truth. Lei yao zan hai guang da am wo. And then does it go on from there? No, it looks like that's the end. Yes, that's the end. All right, that was 
pretty funny ending to the story. Kind of wish that the husband and wife met up at the end of the day or something, but it's okay. And then, of course, there's all the sentence patterns and all the other questions. Let's see, what's their last question here in the story? Are there any Hong Kong people treated you to a meal before? Where did you go? And what did you eat? So we can just read this for fun since it's, we reached the end of the story. Let's try to read this. There's no characters, but we can figure it out from the the Yale ro romanization here. It says, Yao mo hang guang pang yao cheng guo lei si fan a. Lei dei hai bin dou si fan tong mai si ma ye. So it's it's just the it's this sentence translated to Romanized Cantonese. So Yao Mo have or have not. Hong Kong Peng Yao Hong Kong friends. Cheng Guo asked before. Guo is experiential, so Cheng Guo is like, has this ever happened? Cheng Guo have they asked? Lei Sik Fan Ah. Well, I guess, I guess it's not ask, right? It's treat. We we learned that Cheng Cheng Sik Fan means to treat. So, Yao Mo Hong Kong Peng Yao Cheng Guo Lei Sifan has any Hong Kong friend ever treated you to a meal before? Lei Dai Hai Bin Dou Sifan Tong Mai Sik Ma Ye. So you guys, you as in plural, Lei Dai Hai Bin Dou. Where did you go? Sik Fan to eat. Tong Mai Sik Ma Ye. And what did you eat? Ma Ye Sik Ma Ye is eat what. So again, Yamo Hong Kong Peng Yao Cheng Guo Lei Sik Fan Ah, Lei Dei Hai Bin Dou Sik Fan Tong Mai Sik Ma Ye. Hmm, didn't know how I would answer that. It's definitely true. Can't think about how to say a response at the moment though. All right, guys. So that's that's the end of a busy day. What did you think about? not having the audio. I definitely miss not having the audio, but I don't think it was a, a deal breaker. We still got a lot out of it. We learned some vocab. We This one I think is probably the funniest one we've read so far, so I liked it quite a bit. Um, the only thing we're going to do now is a couple minutes of flashcard review again, and then we'll wrap it up for today. So let me bring up the flashcards. I found an interesting little bug here in Anki this morning. So it's small again. And then when you click on the, the flashcard deck of interest, click study, it's big the way I had zoomed it in from last week. Now if I go back to the decks, now it's zoomed in. So strange. Anyway, we're going to study Cantonese Learning Center, which is all of these stories the last however many weeks. I think it's been four or five months at this point actually it's amazing that it's been that long when I first started this I wasn't sure if I was going to make it to the second or third week but it's been pretty fun so far hopefully it's been fun if you're watching as well anyway so this is going to be kind of a, a deck that covers all of the vocabulary not just this particular story so let's get into that study all right so this one, the classifier is zi. So I think this is but, like yet zi but, one pen. So I think this is pen. But. But, yeah, pen, pencil, like a writing utensil, I guess. But. Next we have, oh, this is, this is one I saw recently and I haven't seen it in a long time. I'm pretty sure this is ging, like ging guo, or no, not ging, um, like yi ging already. I think this is like dung, dung ging, which might be like previously, something like that. Oh, tung, tung ging. Tung ging. Tung ging, once already, former, previously. Yeah, I'll mark that as again, tung, tung ging. 
This is ting git to clean. Is this to clean or already cleaned? Like, is this the verb? I think it's the verb. Ting git. Ting git. To clean. Looks like it could be the state of being as well. Clean. But we also know gonzang is clean as well, right? So, gonzang. I think it's two. Gonzang is clean or neat. But this means to clean or to be clean. Tingit. Tingit. Okay. Next, inconvenient, troublesome, trouble. So we just learned this one today. I'll give you guys a second if you're watching. Do you remember what this one is? It was in chapter five, I think. So we learned this today. This is ma fan, troublesome. Ma fan. Ma fan. Okay, next we got a listening one. Pai guat. <laughs> Pai guat. So this one's a food. Guat is bone. Is it bone? Yeah, it's it's bone. Pai guat. So this actually means pork chop. Pai guat. Pai guat. The, I'm laughing because I I only saw this like two days ago when I was doing flashcard review, but I guess it also is like a slang for a skinny person. I don't know. Pai guat. But I I only ever knew it from the food. It's pork chop, spare rib, pai guat. Next we have dialect or language. So this one I'm not certain. There's a collection of words here that like gong is speak, but wa is also to speak or say. There's there's also like yu, yu, which I think is language or something like that. But I think because it says talk or words, I remember this one is means wa. Wa. Yeah, so wa, I guess, in, it, specifically wa is like sp spoken language versus, I think yu is like the overall language. So the written form, spoken, the entirety of a language is, I think, yu. But let's double check that. Because there's also man, like ying man is English. So if we go ying man, this is... This is language and culture, writing. So I think man is specifically like, it's language, but I think it's specifically a written part of it. Ying man. Uh, also man fa is culture. Man fa. And then we just saw that like guang dong wa. So Cantonese uses wa. I think it's because Cantonese is more known as a spoken language and less so as a written language even though it does have a writing system and then the one that i mentioned was like yu, yu. so this is cantonese language it's actually more complex than that because it's it's not it's a family of languages not just cantonese but anyway the yu part is i guess dialect language speech so i don't know which one is like the parent of the other terms or if they're all just synonyms or I think the usage is a little bit different. Anyway, so this is wa, dialect language. Wa. Next we have like, same, similar, together. I think we got tripped up on this last week. So this with was like tong, like tong mai. Tong. Which, which really sort of means like and, but it also can mean with or together. Tong. Uh, to feel apologetic, excuse me, would be like mho yi si, something like that. Mho yi si. Mho yi si. Roughly, approximately, this could be dai koi. It could also be dai yerk. Dai yerk. 
大概 ，OK。大概，大概。Next we have, I think this is another one we just talked about. I think this is do, which is to gamble. Yeah. Do. Do. We just saw in our dialogue do teen to gamble, teen as money, so do teen. Uh, next, we I mentioned this. I said this out loud on the stream because we talked about bo bogo is to was like to report or a report bogo. Uh, but this means tai bo zi zi is paper, and tai is to look. So it's literally look at a kind of look at a published published paper. It means newspaper, so Tai Bo Zi is to read the news pe newspaper. Tai Bo Zi. Tai Bo Zi. Tai Bo Zi. Next, we have. I think this was Tai. This is a word I don't know very well. Tai, which I think was like to puzzle it out, something like that, or put together. Tai. Tai. Piece together. I don't remember which story this was from, but. I guess we can look at that quickly.、Um, oh, edit. So this was from Ling One, which is the very first story that we read back in, I want to say November, December time frame. So I don't think I've seen this in any other story since then. Tai. Tai. Okay. This one is.、Uh, do, do you remember what any of these characters are? It's. I give you a hint. It's a food dish. I personally know the first and last character, and I think I know the middle character. Give you a second. So I know the last character is mean, like noodles. Mean. So you'll hear chow mein, or in like American English, chow mein, or something like that. Chow mein. It's actually pronounced chow mein. So this is mean noodles. This is、uh, chang, which is long, lengthwise long. And the middle one. I think it's sao. But I don't know what the character means on its own. Together, this is the longevity noodles. It's like a special noodle dish where the noodles are like super long, kind of uncut. So I think it's like chung sao mein, but not confident on the middle word. Chung sao mein, okay. Chung sao mein. Chung sao mein. It's like a special noodle dish. Uh, next, um, gong is work. This is chong. Gong chong. It's a factory. Gong chong. Okay. Then we have pi, which is to like dispatched or or send someone away, send something. Pi. 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 To dispatch, send to, to assign. So you could send a. If you're a boss, like at work, you could dispatch someone on location, something to that effect. So that's pi. We'll do maybe half dozen or so more. Fong bean. We saw this, I think, today. Fong bean. It means convenient. Fong bean. Fong bean. You could you could say that about a convenience store. I think like maybe Fong Bean Po Tao. It's like something like that maybe. Convenience store, convenient Fong Bean. To put, um, to put can be. I think Fong Fong. There's also Zai Hai. Zai Hai is like place. I think this is Fong. Oh no! It's Zai Hai. Zai Hai. Zai Hai. I don't know what the difference between Fong and Zai is. Zai Hai.
might not be able to find it. Was it this one? It has a Sao on the left-hand side. No, it's not that character. If I can't find it in another few seconds, we can move on, but it's curious what the difference might be. It's a height. So it's five, I think. It's a height to put. So what is Dai by itself? Jostle, cram in. Oh, so I, I think I've heard Dai to like be crammed in on like a subway car. Dai, press, squeeze. So it's like, it's like crowding in place. Okay. Versus there's a way to say Fong something, but I don't know which character it is. Fong. So maybe it's this one. To free, let good to let go, to put to place, let out. Yeah, they seem similar. I don't know. Let me take a note on that. Okay, Just a couple more here. So I'll mark that as again. Then, wui, wui kai, wui kai. This is the same wui as hoi wui we talked about earlier, which was uh, like a meeting. Hoi wui. This is wui kai. Kai is counting or count. So I think this was like an accountant. Wui kai. We guy, yeah, accountant. Uh, we just saw this. We got it wrong a few minutes ago. This is tung tungging, which was like previously or before tungging. Tungging. Once already, former, previously. Tungging. Uh, this is jai as in most. So you could say jai go tallest. Jai, um, jai dun, the shortest. You could say, I don't know. You, you, you add this in front of something, a description to make it the most of something. So I think together this is jai ta, which is like, um, like primary or it's not freshman, but it's like, I don't know the precise definition. So let's just see what it says. First primary initial. I think initial is a good way to remember this one at first, initially. I'm going to mark that as again because I always think of like freshman, but that's not what it is. It's primary or initial. This is tai zha, which is like aside from or besides. Tai zha. Tai zha. Lan. This is like broken, also means like rotten, mushy. Lan. Lan. Whole lan. Very broken. Worn. Worn out. <laughs> I like how one of the definitions is crappy. Crappy. Bad. Next we have, I think this is Dong, Dong Sao, something like that. Does that mean decorations? Dong Sao. Zhong Sao to decorate, interior decoration, renovate, Zhong Sao. Zhong Sao. All right. Ping Si. Ordinarily, Ping Si. Ping Si. Wa Ping Si ba tim bun hei san. I usually get up at 8.30. Wa Ping Si ba tim bun hei san. Um... This is gong fo, I think, homework. Gong fo. I always have trouble with that one. I don't know why. Gong fo, homework. Mark that as hard. Before, formerly, previously, ago, uh, previous or ago. I think it's, uh, is that yi qin? Yi qin. Yi qin. Yi qin. This is like bui, bui sum vest. Boy some. 
Poisson vest. I don't know how many of the proper, how many of the, the nouns like this are really worth studying at this point, but if they're easy, I don't bother taking them out of the rotation. If they get to be difficult and it's something oddly specific, then typically we'll take it out. So let's end with this one. This is the final one. You may recognize this character from from a few characters ago. So this was the first syllable of pork chop or spare ribs, which is pie. So pie what? It's pork chop. And actually, while I'm saying that, let me double check. It's actually the same character. Pie what? It's got the hand, sao, on the left-hand side and fei on the right-hand side. Yeah, it's the same. So this is pai. So together, I think it's pai doi, which I believe we had in the dialogue today. It means like to queue up or line up. Pai doi. Pai doi. Don't ask me why this is the same pai together with pai kwat. I guess we could look up what pi on its own means. Oh, okay. It means row or a line. So I guess pi what? Since it's spare ribs, it's like a row of bones, <laughs> which makes sense, right? So pi doi is to is to q. I wonder what the doi means. Squadron, team, group. Okay, so you're like you're like a row of people in a group. Pai doi is to queue. Makes sense. All right, perfect. So we'll end there. Let me sync my flashcards. All right, another story down. We're going to keep moving. Uh, next week, I have a couple of choices for materials. I haven't decided yet what the next story will be for next week. There's one more story uh, from the Cantonese Learning Center but I'm kind of feeling like we should maybe mix it up and hold that one for a while. So uh, look forward to a new story next week, probably something that's not Cantonese Learning Center material, but from another source. We'll talk about that more when we get to it next week. So for now, uh, stay happy, uh, keep studying well, and if you have any questions, please leave comments on the videos, send me uh, personal messages, send me any feedback you have for any material you want to see. And until now, have a good week, and we'll talk to you same time next week. Thanks. Bye.